So, so far we have reviewed two, well, three, Batman Arkham games. We reviewed Batman Return to Arkham, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and also the DLC of Harley Quinn's Revenge. Now, we've mainly done that for the PlayStation 4 ports, but today we're going to be reviewing Batman Arkham Origins. Now, at the end of this review, I will say that, well, say something that we're going to be doing for the events of Avengers Infinity War this year. Arkham Origins is created by Warner Brothers, Montreal and Warner Brothers Games. The only game that they actually created and published themselves. In the meantime, Rocksteady was actually doing something else, creating Batman Arkham Knight while demos were being released. Now, this game, many people did notice that it was so similar to Arkham City. The story did get changed, but the elements, the combat, all of that changed. And... It was the same basically. Now I can say that um, I like the game I do. It tells a story before the Batman was the Batman and this could relate to the stuff from the Gotham TV show of how in the way this could get set up. Now um, the timeline was going for this at the beginning of this game before Arkham Knight got created it was basically Arkham Origins, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City with any of those DLC stuff fitting into the gaps. But now Arkham Knight's here, it changed. So what is Arkham Origins about? Arkham Origins is about the wise of Batman and this being his first year as the Batman. As of he was trained by Wes Al Ghul, which is a also a DLC there. Um, within this game the main villain is Black Mask, but you soon realise that it's actually the Joker. With little side bosses and also other villains that are there, most wanted missions and much much more that's there. Barbara Gordon as a younger version, a teenager version, is there. And we get to see the start of her and eventually you get to do, she's kind of like, she is in the previous Arkham game with her on one of those months of what missions. But with this game, um, at the end of it, you end up defeating the Joker in a church but the GCPD still does not trust you. Now some actors have been brought back like for instance from the animated series one of the guys have been brought back. Now I know now I didn't know this but he's Harvey he is. That's why Gordon seems to be a bit younger and Harvey seems to be a bit older. Now this version of Harvey is basically a complete douchebag because in Gotham he's a bit more nicer even if it, even if it's darkest moments. Batman Arkham Origins um, is a weird game. Now I'd, surely I don't need to explain the story that much because I'm hoping that some of you guys have played it. But what do I give Batman Arkham Origins? Well, I give it a 8.5 out of 10. Because after we playing it a couple of times and also it's not working on my PlayStation 3 because stupid controls, that's why. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will say that our next reviews we're going to be reviewing as much Marvel stuff leading up to Avengers Infinity War. Not Black Panther because that's not as big as that other film. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hashtag be the bat and I'll see you on the next one.